Welcome back to the channel and welcome to my final run in Argentina. My flight leaves Córdoba tomorrow morning fairly early, 9.30, and today will be spent packing and this video will just be a vlog of my return home. Apologies if there hasn't been a video for a while. My last few weeks in Argentina have been a bit crazy and whether this comes out after the Patagonia video or before it, that will be coming. So I hope you enjoy this video. Give it a thumbs up if you do. If you have any comments or questions about my time in Argentina, stick them in the comment section below and subscribe if you haven't already. Back to Oxford in September after the summer. And uh, yeah, looking forward to my final year. Let's go. Good morning, a little less early than on the way out. It's only quarter to seven instead of four o'clock or whatever. I spent yesterday packing. It went really well, actually. Usually I really don't like packing, but it was quite easy. And uh, I had a good chat with the gang while I was doing it. So that kept me occupied, which was nice. I did try to check in online as usual, but uh, that was not possible, apparently. I don't know whether it's because my first flight to Buenos Aires is with Aerolíneas Argentinas instead of KLM, obviously, uh, or whether it's because there's a mix of Aerolíneas and KLM or oh, something's gone wrong, basically, so I'm going to have to check in at the airport. And I was informed this morning that my second flight, the long one, has already been delayed by at least 25 minutes, which obviously 25 minutes isn't much, but I can see that becoming a lot longer because the outbound flight from Amsterdam to Buenos Aires has been delayed. Um, so the, my return flight also has been delayed. Let's see how it goes. Um, I've got a four hour plus layover in Amsterdam, which means that even if it's delayed by two hours in the end, I should still be okay for my connection back to Bristol and back home. But we shall see. It does make my layover in Buenos Aires a bit longer though, which is a bit annoying, but you know, I think in Buenos Aires, I'm gonna have to check in again go and get my check luggage and go through security again um, because of this online check-in mess up. But we, we shall see, we shall see. I'm just having a bit of brekkie. Uh, in 45 minutes, my ride to the airport gets here. It's one of the uh, other directors from school who's offered to take me, which is nice. I made them some biscuits last night as a thank you. So yeah, here we go, ready to go home. I am pretty sad. I mean, I did a lot of crying on the last day of school, so that won't be happening today, I don't think, but there will be moments of reflection on the flights, I think, where I'm thinking, hmm, yeah. But there we go. Anyway, I will catch up with you later and keep you updated on the flight statuses. Made it to the airport and through security, even with the check-in in about probably six minutes, seven minutes. Um, the only problem was I was stopped at security and asked about the number of alfajores I was bringing with me. Alfajores, I think I've said before, like the typical playground snack um, here in Argentina with dulce de leche in the middle, uh, surrounded by kind of biscuits, like cookie kind of things and sort of bathed in chocolate. <laughs> so, yeah, they were like, uh, why have you got so many? And what's in the big um, metal tins? But there we go. I managed to check in for all three flights and my bag is checked all the way to Bristol, so no problem with that. Um, it had a big yellow tag put on it saying important connections, which is reassuring. And uh, yeah, so it begins. What I forgot to tell you is that I got a mega deal and I'm very excited. Um, I was looking at my flight details maybe a week, no, 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 like two days ago. And I noticed that the upgrade option for premium economy was only four pounds. So I obviously spent the four pounds to uh, have premium economy seating and food and everything on my 13 hour flight. Um, I think originally the ticket price would have been twice as much. Uh, so to only pay four pounds is definitely worth it. So that's fantastic. I'm very excited. First time in a cabin other than economy. So we'll see how it goes. And um, yeah, 
I'm, I'm looking forward to going home and I'll keep you updated along the way. Sorry, one last thing. What happened to the posh boarding passes when you check in at the airport? This is literally just a slip of paper, but never mind. Well, I've made it through and I'm waiting for them to announce the gate for my flight. Um, that was an interesting experience, a new experience for me. Never been detained temporarily by uh, immigration before. Uh, essentially, my work visa had expired eight days ago. And because it doesn't automatically transfer onto a tourist visa, I was technically in the country slightly illegally. But I had to pay a 40,000 pistol fine, which came out to about 25 pounds. Uh, and they let me go but it's something I know for next time that if I do want to stay past my work visa deadline which I had actually completely forgotten about then I need to go to immigration in the city I'm working and get them to move me across to a tourist visa but yeah new experience takes off I guess uh, 25 pounds poorer but at the end of the day it doesn't matter uh, I'm ready to get on my flight now although I do have to wait three hours which is not great, but oh well. I will keep you up to date, as I said, and uh, we'll see how the rest of the day goes. <laughs> Call me a child, but I've been given a menu. I've been given an amenity kit. It is small, but you know. And I've been given, and this is probably the best thing because the headphones in my first flight here were terrible. Noise cancelling headphones. So I am very excited. Uh, the pillow's quite nice as well. It's a blanket, so you know, I can't complain. The recline is insane compared to what I'm used to, uh, and the TV screen is huge, so. I'm a very happy chappy. For four pounds, I can't complain. I mean, the whole ticket was more than that, but you know. Um, but yeah, I'll keep you updated as we go through. I'm gonna try and sleep. What sort of shocked me is that it's half past seven in the UK at the moment. So ideally, in two, three hours, I try and sleep for a bit, um, but we'll see. I've got some movies lined up. Uh, and yeah, we'll see how it goes. But looking forward to the fight, it'll be good. So just like on the way out, we have a loo update. Um, we've flown about three hours and we've got about 10 to go, uh, which is a really long time, but oh well. Uh, we've eaten, um, I've watched Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, which I really enjoyed actually, and I'm part of the way through, uh, it's not the new Hunger Games movie, but it's the latest one, the one about sort of pre-Hunger Games or uh, the 10th, well, I don't know. Um, it's something to do with serpents and songbirds or something like that. So my plan is to now brush my teeth and then maybe go straight to sleep, maybe watch a bit more of that, I'm not sure yet. Uh, but we'll see. Anyway, I'll keep you updated as things go along. We're about halfway through the flight. Um, someone has just been taken ill i think uh, they asked whether there was a medical doctor on board so i hope that person's all right um yeah i tried for about an hour and a half to fall asleep and failed miserably so we're on another film now last night i went to bed quite late and i think that means that it's going to be highly unlikely i get any proper sleep before getting into amsterdam tomorrow just because of the time difference and that probably means that trying to get my body clock onto European time means that I'm gonna to have to stay up the whole day tomorrow and just conk out in the evening, which is pretty grim, but yeah, well, uh, I will survive. Um, I've had a cup of tea, I kind of feel all right, so. Sleep. So I'm actually feeling quite okay now and I've got time for one 
probably going to be an endless walk through Amsterdam Schiphol Airport. Uh, we landed and got to the gate about an hour late, which I'm not sure I'm going to complain about, seeing as it cuts my transfer time down from about four hours to about three. Um, brush my teeth, wash my face, and now we just go to the next gate, I guess, <laughs> ready for the flight home. Um, we're nearly there, we're nearly there. Super speedy flight, about, oh, it was less than an hour. Um, was snoozing a little bit, definitely was snoozing at the gate. I thought I was gonna miss boarding, I'm not gonna lie. I was super tired. Um, feeling a bit more energized now, ready to go find mum. Well, I'll pick up my baggage first, then go find mum. But there we go, I think that'll be the end of this week's video. I am back in the UK after a fantastic, fantastic time in Argentina. As I said, Patagonia video has either already come out or will come out and I'll do a video recapping my year abroad at some point as well, I'm sure. Um, so stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, stick them in the comment section below and subscribe if you haven't already. Stay tuned.